and action welcome producers to another video and in this video we're gonna go ahead and go over why i have been gone for over a week this is simple really um if you don't know about the story we have a dog named Teddy. okay and he had surgery some time ago where he would well have to get a little plate in his jaw to fix his fractured well jaw and you know it was going good for a while but eventually something happened um, we're, we don't really know exactly what happened it's just oh well yeah, yeah maybe because of this but you know it, I mean, it wasn't really too much of a clarified for sure answer it was just kind of like oh yeah well then maybe it could have been this anyway got infected had to take the, the plate out use bone marrow from his well his bones and make a new jaw from his bones Makes sense, kind of, and it was kind of weird, but anyway, you take leftover bo extra bone that you have anywhere, like it could be your hip, it could be your, your, your anywhere, like you know, your mouth, whatever, and then you would kind of replace where the bone was and then just kind of grow a new one. It's kind of hard to really describe, but it's it's very interesting. Um, but anyway, this, this guy would go from eating three times a day every six hours four times a day every four hours which would be kind of difficult to do but at the same time it's like okay well you know what it's responsibility is having a dog we're gonna do this and yeah Teddy needs this and um, from there it would just be a lot of time consumption it really wouldn't hurt too much but um, going from this uh, three times a day every six hours to four is because he was losing some weight so uh, it was bad enough that you know this every six hours was kind of affecting the live streams a little bit because we would get well, quite a bit but not really at the same time and then knocking it down like this was very limited uh, quite a bit as well however things are looking better because he's going to start eating orally which means through his mouth on Monday and that's going to make everything a whole lot easier and you know what that's going to be one of the one of the steps closer to saying you know what he's good he is good to go and then you know we should have a regular schedule once again uh, going in for live streams videos maybe have more videos not too sure but anyway that's just that um, and then when I looked like okay well you know what uh, looked like I had a good day to stream ended up getting sick and not having any energy or you know you, you know when you feel like crap you just can't do anything it's just yeah it's, part of being having a cold feel tired feel weak feel like doing nothing yeah so ended up being sick for about four I still am kind of sick that's what I was going to stream on Saturday but just yeah, just wasn't almost but not quite just almost had had enough but uh, it wasn't not yet but I'm going to push myself no matter if I am just a little bit or completely recovered for today so, we're not going to go over any of the uh, storylines, whether it's boring or whether if you like it or not, because at the same time, you know, I want to go and say I, I'm sorry for those who do enjoy the storylines, and you're welcome to those who don't really enjoy them because they're just more excited on the big matches, the payoffs, and the pay-reviews, yada, yada, yada. Which should be good for you guys, because today is going to be a pretty good night. The very longly awaited pay-per-view built-up NXT takeover the end will be taking place today and then you know it's like okay well there's your Christmas Eve present what about uh, Christmas Day oh don't worry about that whatsoever we're gonna have NXT takeover the end today and then tomorrow it's gonna be Starcade on Christmas Day where it's gonna be Raw, SmackDown Live, and ECW all partaking in the event uh, not only that, but I'm going to go ahead and say that for sure, Raw and SmackDown Live will be having title match implicated events. The uh, shows after Starcade, since there's not really enough matches, or, uh, well, you know, it might be a two-night event, but I'm not too sure here. We're just going to go ahead and leave it like that. For sure, for sure, based off of what we have right now. It could change, it might not. ECW may or may not join on the fun, it's up to them. And... Yeah, that's just that. We'll get more to that when the time comes, when it's time to cross the bridge. And finally, last but not least, we're going to go ahead and talk over a 
giveaway because around last year, this time around, I did the, well, did the same thing, but it was an in-game giveaway, not an actual physical copy like money or, or like a, a game or a console, yada, yada, yada. Um, this is going to be similar, but a little bit different. So, you know, the only thing I could really do a giveaway on would have to be either, well, GTA or the game we watch right now, Rocket League. And in GTA, it's a little bit easy to kind of tell. I would give away money on there, and uh, the the idea that I have would be like, we do a heist, and I give my percentage of a cut. So like, if the, the dude wanted the, or girl wanted the host, then I would give my percentage would be twenty percent. But if I hosted, they would get my uh, I think it would be what forty five percent or thirty five percent somewhere on there. And yeah, it's just like that. Uh, for Rocket League though, however, it's a little bit different, but, you know, it's, uh, kind of a little bit easier to do, because I can end up giving away a wheel, a boost, a car, crates, and even keys. So if you do like to see a giveaway, go ahead and let me know in the comments what you would like to see. That's gonna be it for now, producers. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully everyone enjoyed. I'll see you guys at the end. Until the end, have a great one for now. Cut, and that's a wrap.